Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Uma Shankar. In today's session, we are going to understand what is scheduling parameters in OS integration, and also we can see how to get the last run date and time dynamically. Let's understand what is scheduling parameters. So basically, scheduling parameters are accessible across all scheduled integration and help manage data processing from one instance to other instance run. For example, when you are extracting the surplus data from the Fusion application, you have a requirement to extract the surplus on the incremental basis. That means you want to get the extract based on the last run date. In that scenario, we are going to implement the scheduling parameters. Okay, basically it will helpful when you are doing the batch processing. A schedule parameter can track the position of the batch data between the runs. When you declare a, when you configure a schedule integration, you can declare up to five variables as a scheduling parameters. So basically, what is the advantage of scheduling parameters? By using this parameters, you can avoid to extract the duplicate data from the Fusion application. Okay, because the last run date time keep changing, so that we can avoid the duplicate data processing. Okay, scheduling parameters are designed to fetch data from BAP reports using parameters in the integration let's get into the integration i am going to give some high level overview i have created a simple supplier extract query for a demonstration purpose okay let me open the query okay so by using this query we can get the uh, latest, latest supplier records from the supplier portal okay so if you see this right uh, we are checking the condition okay if you make any modification to the supplier so on the supplier record you can see the last the update date is getting updated so that we are checking the condition your supplier last update date greater than equal to last run date so last run date is nothing but your previous uh, run date okay so by checking this condition you are going to get the latest records latest modification from the supplier record and also we are converting that uh, last run date uh, into yyy mmdd format okay so this is our sql query so uh, uh, already uh, bip uh, report uh, uh, created so we are going to build the integration okay we will call this uh, bip report from os integration we can uh, uh, we can dynamically change the la last run date using scheduling parameter. I have created a basic schedule integration for demonstration purpose. Let me go through the flow. The objective of this integration, we can invoke the uh, BAP report by using SOAP service and uh, we will take the report extract so we will write that file into uh, virtual location that means voice stays area and we can read that file and we can load into atp tables and then we can update the last run date variable okay so let me open the schedule uh, uh, sh uh, scheduling options okay you can uh, click on the edit to see the scheduling parameters okay this is our parameter which we created the parameter name is last run date okay so you can enable maximum of five uh, scheduling parameters here okay you cannot create more than five okay so i have assigned to the blank value but even you can uh, provide some default value here okay okay here we mentioned the last run date and then we are calling the BAP report. Let me open this. So we are using uh, SOAP external service. Okay. So we are calling the uh, BAP report by using run report input operation. Okay. Click and continue. Okay. Here we are doing the mapping. 
we are passing the reporting parameters. I'm going, going to show you high level details. Okay. So you have to pass the attribute format XML because my report output is in XML, XML format. Okay. Here you can pass the parameter values. Okay, your parameter and name is lost and date. Okay, your value which is getting from the okay lost run date. Okay. This is the scheduling parameter which we created. Okay. And also we are assigning the report absolute path and uh, size of data chunk download is minus one. So we are going to extract the complete data. Okay. And then once we generate the report output, okay, we are writing the file into virtual location. Okay, this is our virtual location. I am giving the file name is supplier.xml. Okay, so I am uploading the schema file. So this is our, our OPK schema access file. Okay, cancel it. And we are uh, mapping the uh, report output okay to opaque data so this is my invoke bi response expand the run report return this is our report response base 64 format okay so we are mapping to the opaque schema so if you want to understand opaque uh, schema you have to refer my previous videos Okay, after that I am reading the file. Okay, so while reading the file, I am going to use the write file response. Okay, so I am not going to configure the file, just I am using the file name as well as directory from the write file response. Okay, and also I am calling the ADP adapter. So I am going to insert the data into uh, one of the uh, database table okay this is the table that we are using to load the data okay once it completed so in the, what we am doing i am assigning the last run date right open here click on the edit okay so when you see this right so i am for last as our last run date i am taking the start date parameter okay Start date when you create a uh, scheduling parameter automatically start date uh, start time will be assigned here okay okay so the start time I am converting into the date month year hours minute second format okay so when the with the moment you run the uh, integration first time you have to provide the value once the inti once the instance is completed once it come to here okay it is getting assigned with the late, latest run date the, mom, the moment you run the integration it will start from the the last run date time okay it will take the increment data okay you can save it okay go back now i am going to run this integration okay so uh, I'm going to pass the default value. Okay, I'm going to run for the March 13. Okay. Okay, the same parameter value I'm passing from the integration. Click and run. Okay. So seems to be the integration got completed. Let me go back. So data is loaded in our custom table. Okay. So this is the current value that we passed here. Now let me uh, refresh this and we can check the uh, current value again. Okay. okay. If you see this right, when you are trying to submit the integration again, it is taking the latest parameter. That means latest value. Okay, start date. So again, the same parameter where a value is being passed to the uh, integration. Based on this parameter, we are go going to call the BAP report. Okay, 
So this is the way how we can dynamically assign the loss run rate to BAP parameter. Okay. So there is no manual inter intervention is required. Okay. So this is the simple process so you can use according uh, for, for your project requirement. And also when you are uh, working on the uh, real time projects, we can uh, as we can update this uh, latest parameter value in ATP tables for future reference. Okay. So this is the high level overview. So if you like this video, please subscribe and share. So I'm going to come up with the one on one of the important concept in my next session. Thank you.